G'day everyone and welcome back to another Zuck Guide video. I'm super excited to make this. So in this video, I'm going to sort of shorten it down uh, just for the challenge modes because in the last video, what we did, we did a whole walkthrough from start to finish. So the waves, uh, positioning in the waves, what we do with the ranges, the mages, what we do at Harakin, what we do at Zuck. And I did fail some of the challenges just to show that hey if you do fail the challenges while well, you, you you're learning it's okay you can still get the kill and uh, be able to get the the zuck cape so in this video yeah what i want to do and what i want to focus on is just the challenges themselves so this is going to be a lot more of a shorter video compared to the last video so i hope you guys really enjoy if you do please like comment subscribe all of those good things and i would quickly just like to mention that the gear that we were using in the previous video is the exact same gear that we'll be using in this video with the book the scripture of when the weapons all of those things they're all going to be the same okay so for the first challenge that we're going to encounter we want to make sure that we have our three or five stacks of souls just depending on the the lantern that you equipped you got the tier 90 lantern make sure you got your three souls if you got the tier 95 make sure you got your five souls and basically what we'll do here we will not use any souls on zuck we will just do our skulls finger of death bloat split soul all of those good things now right here what i do is that i invoke death i add threads of fate i click i volley and then that kills the three of them instantly then i just do some damage to the last of the two and that is the first wave complete super easy just quickly like to mention you it's want to go right where i am going I now so the jad won't attack you but the jad die. will spawn at the back side there the south side of the arena and that will keep him behind those rocks okay now we are at the second challenge what the important thing to do here is make sure you have 12 necrosis stacks you don't want to use any fingers on zuck when you're attacking him so we're going to vulnerability bomb zuck we're going to put our split soul on we're going to bloat we will volley and with the book proc there it actually took a lot of his health so we phased him already now what we're going to do here is we're going to invoke death we're going to vulnerability bomb the minion we're going to use finger and another finger and then that kills the minion now if that doesn't kill the minion you can it use the tier 90 spec and that will get rid of him and complete the wave in this case i didn't have to both the fingers killed him but that weapon spec will be a, a backup for you the the other option you could do is weapon spec and finger just as a quick reminder soon as you complete the challenge you want to walk all the way south to the position i'm at now and stand behind that rock and that will block those two chats from being able to attack you you can kill off these minions first and then go tackle the jads one by one you will see i will just walk directly north towards the first uh the first jad after we get rid of these minions yeah, and then we just sit there and we attack one by one, nice and safe. The last challenge. So for this challenge, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to make sure we have our 12 necrosis stacks and we want to spend as little as much adrenaline as possible because we're going to need the adrenaline to do the barricade defensive i have a shield with turtling 4 equipped in my opinion this is the easiest way to do it because the duration that it lasts with turtling 4 um, will last throughout the whole part of the challenge so you will always be safe there so basically what we're going to do here we're going to spend as little as much adrenaline as possible we're going to use our 12 necrosis stack so the fingers of our finger of death doesn't cost us any adren and we're just going to do basic attacks until he's phased now what we're going to do once we get dragged back to the middle 
of this circle here. We're going to, as soon as they spawn, we're going to barricade. This can take some timing as well, but generally, and that's why I was saying with the turtle in four, if you do it a little bit early, you can still survive if, if it does fail or you just have that extra like one or two seconds left before the barricade ends. And that, that will be the last wave. And once you kill Zuck, you will get your flawless run. But just as a quick reminder, with these jets here, there's going to be three of them. You want to come all the way back to where I'm standing right now. And you want to attack the first one that you can see now. And then you want to work towards the second one. And then the third one closest to Zuck. So you see me walk around. We kill the second one. And that will stop any of... It will stop the, the jads from uh, piling up on you. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I am going to be bringing out a Zuck only guide where we just go through the mechanics of Zuck. Uh, I would just like us to say that a big thank you. Like, thank you so much for all the support on the uh, my first Zuck video, the Absolute Raw Beginners Guide, where, we, like I said in the beginning, we did like pretty much a whole walkthrough of, of, the, uh, of the fight. So yeah, I'm, I really appreciate you guys. So thank you so much. And I hope this one helps. And I will soon upload the Zuck only guide. Thank you so much, guys. Take care.